I know you like to start your mornings uh, with coffee. We talked about three hours on your podcast about coffee. So <laughs> no, it, it was a good 40 minutes. Um, I loved it. It was very interesting. If you're interested in coffee, go check that podcast out. But, you know, are you, what, what is the news? What I kind of mentioned the topic today and, and um, I kind of got the feeling that you didn't have the timeline. You didn't have all the facts, you know, memorized. And so what does the news look like to you? Do you wake up looking for the news or what? Uh, not at all. Yeah, no, not at all. Um, so as a matter of fact, I, I got, I just got a TV, a television. Um, my M Missy's dad and uh, family came by last week and um, it's my birthday coming up. And so they, they were gracious enough to go to Walmart. I think that's where they went. They, they were gracious enough to go to Walmart and, and they surprised me with uh, probably the biggest television I've ever had. Um, and it's a smart TV. So it, I mean, it knows my name. It, it can do Netflix. I mean, it's just, just an amazing piece of equipment. I imagine it has news on there. I, I don't know. I haven't looked, but um, no, I, I don't, I don't watch TV. So um, I don't watch, I don't watch the news. I, uh, I will go to Yahoo on my phone. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Well, and, and this is why I used to, there was another one, I think it was called uh, Buzzfeed or something, something of that nature. It was a little yellow icon on the app. Um, yeah. But apparently that was Chinese owned and, uh, and uh, Trump, you know, disbanded that. Now, I, I don't know exactly the story, but, but I think it was Chinese owned and uh, it, it no longer exists. Now, I would go there for news, but it wasn't news. It was more stupid shit like, um, you know, hey, there's a, you know, a three headed, uh, three headed fish was found in, uh, you know, Lake Isabella or something, you know, and, and I mean, just dumb, you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, not, not real big on news. I, I don't watch sports, things of that nature. So I, I do go to Yahoo. And the reason I go to Yahoo is I'm a news, uh, I'm a headline reader. So I get my news by reading the headlines. The more salacious the headline, I may pop into the article and scan it. Um, but, but that's about it. I, I don't actually follow the news much. Gotcha. Um, and you guys feel free to chime in, ask each other questions or whatnot. It's no problem at all. Mm -hmm. um, I want to know if Brett spelled his name wrong. I see it's B-R-E-T. Yep. yep. One T. It's one T. One T. So, okay. <laughs> I guess my, my parents wanted to save ink the rest of my life. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually the exact opposite. So um, I don't drink coffee. My wife gives me a hard time. I think I'm the only male above 30 in America that doesn't drink coffee. I think I'm the last one left. I'm a dying breed. But um, yeah, I don't, I just never like coffee. But um, I do really follow the news pretty well. And I don't know, just hearing you guys talk about it, I'm like, I don't know why I do it so much. Because I never, I actually, I think this is like the first conversation I've had with people about it other than like immediate family. Okay. Right. I think so for me, I pretty much I just like to be educated and know where I stand and not in the sense of, you know, <clears throat> changing someone's mind or debating about it. It's just like I just like to know where I stand. And that kind of happened in my 30s. I started to become a lot more political. And so I get it from a few different places. I actually watch both those. I'll watch Fox News and CNN because they're on either side. Yeah. And then I land somewhere in the middle. Right. That's unfortunate. I wish there was just I think somebody could become a billionaire if they just made like a news channel that didn't have, you know, agendas mixed in and they just gave the news and the facts, like somebody could become rich. Maybe we should start that. Anyways. Um, yeah, I think they used I get it from to that. call it journalism. Right. Exactly. There <laughs> used to be standards and stuff and now there's not. Um, so, and then I also, you know, like everybody else on YouTube, I found guys that I like and I typically agree with not all the time, but like, I'll research the news story, you know, especially now everything, there's a video of everything that <clears> happens. So you watch the video and then I'll hear commentary and then I'm like, yeah, I agree with that. I don't. And that's pretty much where it stands. I don't, 
um, with everything going on, I haven't really been on social media much because I'm just like, I don't want to engage in those arguments. And also for me as a follower of Jesus, I think for me, my Facebook is there for two reasons. Same with Instagram is one, share pictures of my family because I'm out here in California and the rest of my family's in Wisconsin. So they can see pictures and all that stuff. But number one, for Jesus, like, and getting into that political stuff doesn't, doesn't do either of those goals. So, um, so yeah, I kind of, I have a pretty strong opinion, but not where I'm trying to convince people of my view. I'm like, no, you part of it is I'm, I just believe everyone should be able to share their opinion, even if I think it's the worst opinion ever. Like I'm a big free speech guy, um, even to the point, again, don't agree with them, but like if leader of uh, the KKK wanted to stand at city hall and say stuff, I'm like, yeah, they can say whatever they want. doesn't mean I agree with it, but yeah. part of freedom of speech is like, yeah, you can say whatever you want. So that's kind of where I stand, but um, we'll get into that some more, but yeah, I do follow the news pretty closely. Yeah. And I, um, I, I don't,